All right, now what we're going to get into is setting up uh, basically the theme and the way the store looks. Um, this gets, uh, it kind of evolves as you build your store, but um, what you're going to want to do is from the home page here, you're going to want to click on online store, and then it's going to bring you um, default to the theme section. So there's lots of stuff. If you go into like explore, you can check out maybe the debut theme isn't uh, the one that you want for free. Maybe you want to pay for a theme um, or use something else, but I really like the debut theme. It's it's pretty simple to use, so and it's the default. So we're gonna we're gonna start with that um, just to keep it simple here. And uh, you know, there's a couple logos that I like to change right in the beginning, and and it just keeps it super simple here. All right, and um, those are gonna be the uh, image hero right here and your logo. Uh, so how are we going to do that? Um, you're going to see over here, uh, you have all these, uh, kind of little boxes. What they are is sections over here. So each thing's broken down to, into a, a section and, um, you can really customize everything very easily. So, and, uh, it, it really makes your website come together as you go and lets you, uh, customize it very well. So in the header is the first place we're going to go. The header is up here. And um, you're going to see the first uh, spot right here is logo. So, and it's going to ask, do you want to put it in the left or the center? We're going to do the left. Um, and you're going to go to upload an image. And we have uh, some stuff here. So let's do bike works. <clears throat> and it's going to ask you, you know, how wide in pixels do you want this? Stuff like this. Um, this is showing it in. I'm going to actually make it smaller here. Um, so you can put that how you want it um, and then play with it later if you want. Uh, or or if you don't want to use it, say say you think um, it looks better without it down the long run, maybe we'll keep it like this for now. Um, just you, It's just an option. If you have a logo that you want to put there, you can. Um, I'm going to actually keep it blank for right now. Um, so I'm going to go back. Um, the image overlay I am going to use, though. I have a file here. Um, so, oh, it's too large. I think I used the wrong one. I have a couple in here. This this one works good, I think. Um, so this, so once you get that in here, that's going to give you your logo. I like it having it this way to have like a nice kind of, you, you brand it right on the front page. And then um, there's this image overlay here. I like to remove that. Um, so that's a hero. This is basically the hero splash. So if you want to lay an overlay on like a, a picture, you can do that. Um, you can do that, but uh, I like to do that on a, on a lower bar like this as I go. So once you get some influencers taking pictures for you, you can do the same thing down here and, and tell sort of a story. So we're going to save that. And I have the optimal image uh, sizes in the blog post. Um, there's a link for the full post um, in the description below um, that walks you through it if you just stumble across this video. Um, I have everything listed out step by step there so definitely check that out and um, I have all the videos embedded there so there we go there's the first step so um, let me see if, if we were to preview this right now you, you can also in here see what it looks like on mobile, which is cool. So you can get an idea of where the rest of the stuff will be in here. But this is what I like to do. Get a really nice graphic that uh, kind of splashes your logo and brand right there on the front. And um, it's a really, really nice way to start up your store before you start putting products in here, which will come later. And um, we'll show how this goes, comes together in the end. But um, even even here, um, so it says image with the text. This is something that you'd want to do um, to like give an image for your brand. So we're actually, while we're in here, we will do this um, now. You just go into that, that part of the section again. This is all broken down into sections. And I'm going to put it back to full screen just to make it look prettier. Um, so this this is going to be the image with text section. You're going to come in here and you can upload an image. I just downloaded an image uh, right there. And then um, you, you you know you put something that looks 
really nice in there. You, you can get a stock image um, if you want, and then you can um, come in here and actually like, you know, cycle with a purpose or, you know, everywhere. Um, I've heard other um, internet marketers use uh, the word wordsmithing a lot when they uh, go through making these these websites. Um, you know, so I'm just gonna write something really corny right now um, that makes this uh, photo fit in. Clothing is great for on and off the bike. Show that you love riding. All right, we'll do something small like that. All right, and then if you want to put a button in, you can even do um, uh, like view full collection. Oh, we'll do view check out our full. That might be too much. Um, Yeah, so so everything through Shopify is is super customizable like that. From the colors, um, we'll even I'll even get you into the colors and stuff. But um, it's super easy to use. An image slide down here would be, you know, like I said, right now what I would do is delete it, and then later if if I wanted to come back to use that, I I would. Um, and most likely what I would use it for would be showcasing stuff from Instagram. So if people are tagging me with the clothes that they've bought from me, it's going to go there. And uh, that that's going to make your front page be even more appealing now. And then we'll look at it on the small screen again. See, you know, it fits in there nice. Is there a way to center that button? No, that's too bad. Um, but yeah, so see, it's starting to come together, you know. Once we get some products in there, you know, it's already going to be pretty much ready to launch. So, yeah, um, that's it for this segment. And uh, check out the next video to uh, where we're going to get into applications, I believe.